What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV here. Back here with a brand new show to bring to you today. It's the debate show. And we have got some very, very interesting debates coming your way over the next couple of weeks. We're going to give you one of these every week, starting today. And I've got John with me. How are you doing, John? How are we doing? All right. And Sim, my brother, obviously. How's it going, Sim? Come on, I'm going to be undefeated in these debates. Sure <laughs> <laughs> so the way this is going to work, we're going to give you a topic. Each of you are going to get 90 seconds to argue your case. And then we're going to open it to the panel and uh, we're just going to have a big discussion, all of us. And, uh, and then everyone is going to type in the comments who they thought won the debate. And then we'll go from there. And the debate today is about Harry Winks and if he's good enough. John, kick us off. You want me to go first? I thought yeah, ladies yeah, first. Uh, no, no, first. you go first. Go on. All right, okay. Shame count me in. You. Shame <laughs> you, John. We're going to shame you. Count me in. Count me in. Okay. Wait. Is Harry Winks good enough? I'm going to give you 90 seconds starting from now. There's a reason why we call him SpongeBob Square Pass, okay? <laughs> he's very technically uh, sound. He's very, he's, he's very technical. He's good with his feet. But the guy offers nothing, okay? He's uh, very defensively minded to the point where it's overly cautious and actually gets us in trouble. Because he's unable to break the lines, it actually contains the play and gets us stuck in around our own area. And ends up going back to Larice, rush kick forwards. And we end up sitting deeper and deeper as a result of that. I actually think that he, he's, he's bad in the air. He can't head the ball. He can't tackle. He offers no goal threat. Um, I think he scored one goal. And even that goal, he nearly missed from like two yards out as well. He duffed it in. He, he nearly missed that as well. He offers nothing going forward whatsoever. All he does is play ticky-tacky football. And pretty much he can only really go sideways. There's a video of him recently on, on uh, Instagram where he kicks a, a tea bag into a, 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 a coffee cup. I'm surprised that didn't go sideways into the, uh, into the, onto the fridge, to be honest with you. Um, I just don't think, I think he's good. I think he's loyal. He's enthusiastic, but he's not quite good enough to be in the first team. I think he's just, uh, he's too much of a crab. You know, I actually think he's a poor man, Scott Parker. I think he does everything Scott Parker did, but, but doesn't, uh, doesn't actually get a uh, tackle properly. I think when he does try and tackle, he gets yellow cards. He, he's, he's a bit reckless. Um, he doesn't have a forward pass in him. And you need that from a player that's just sitting in front of the back four. You need a player that can actually drive the ball forwards. He cannot do that. So he is the poor man, Scott Parker. I don't need any more time. 90 seconds. All right. Sim. All right. Wait. On your marks. 90 seconds from now. Harry Winks is one of the most underappreciated midfielders in the Premier League right now, judging by what I just heard. This is a guy who's able to get on the ball, control, he can control a game with just his passing. He, if you look at the stats, he actually is um, one of the top uh, centre mids for penetrative passes going forward. He passes way more forward than you like to think. His dribbling is absolutely fantastic. He's very hard to um, get the ball off once, once he gets going. He's proven in games like against Real Madrid, against uh, other top teams, he can, um, uh, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best, of best players. What's held him back really is injuries. He's, he's had big injury problems with his ankles, but he's, he's been able to overcome that. He's played for England. He got man of the match on his debut. Um, he's a central midfield. Not every centre mid has to be a goal-scoring midfielder uh, getting shots off all the time and being able to score goals. Look at Andres Iniesta. He, he never barely got a goal in his sister's a season and he was known as one of the best centre mids in Europe. I'm not obviously saying Harry Winks is no Iniesta, but I'm saying you can have a role in centre mid without being able to contribute goals and assists. And he um, very clearly is able to contribute to the football that we play. He knits things together in central midfield. He's very good at um, um, what's called dictating the, the play. He has an extremely good passing range, long and short. Yes, he could probably contribute more in the final third, but I think the qualities that he does show, that his enthusiasm um, and his ability to uh, display a fight is what... Okay. I'm up. All right, wow. one nil to me. One nil to wow, me. Right, what's wow, the next? Wow. Uh... <laughs> I got a bit heated there. Guys, what do you think <laughs> in the comment section below? Who won that debate? Was it Sim or was it John? Is Harry Winks a player that we want to keep? Is he a player for the future? Who knows? But what I want to ask you, Sim, is he, is he a starter for you? Is he a regular starter? Is he good enough to be a regular starter or is he just not He's there yet? He's 100% good enough for Tottenham. He's 100% good enough to be in the first team. I actually think... 
what hinders him is that he doesn't really he he doesn't have a partner that suits his needs. I think a lot of the time he's partnered with an Undombele or he's partnered with a Celso where he's expected to do a lot more of the defensive work than probably he would like to. He's not a pure defensive midfielder, although he can put a tackle in, but he can be left vulnerable if he because he can't cover the amount of ground that that he you may be uh, like someone like a one yama or something like that if he had someone like a one yama next to him i think you might see a different harry winks but you, you for sure you've seen his displays in the champions league you've seen his displays for england you've seen you've seen enough from harry winks to show that he is more than good enough to play for tottenham well once he gets over his injury problems um i think he, he he's shown he's a he's a class class player and it also showed you know when he was linked with, with man city and man united with after he was having a few contract disputes he was linked with top level players I think top teams would look at him if he was available at Tottenham and I think uh, uh, he, she's shown how good he can be for sure it's all, it's all well and good doing it on the odd occasion but can, does he do it regularly enough John? No, I, I don't think he does. Um, there's, he has a few flashes of brilliance, like I thought against Man City when he actually drove forward with the ball. He actually went forwards. Uh, for, oh, never mind, Max. Uh, um, he actually looked good when he actually drives into the space. He actually looks as though he's actually quite rapid on the ball when he does that. The problem with Winks is that um, he plays this, the cautious sideways pass too often, and in big games, that's when you that's when you uh, come unstuck. No one's saying that he. Uh, needs to score more goals. I know his role is just to sit in front of the defence and do that, do that role, but I don't think he even does that role well enough, to be honest with you. I think he's good enough to play for Spurs if we're if we're kind of a Europa League position Spurs, which we kind of look like at the moment. But if we're a team that wants to be sort of like competing for titles again, like we were in 2016, 2017, I don't think he's good enough. I actually don't think he's... He, he's, he's, he's I was. Going, I almost said he's just like Tom Carroll, to be honest with you. I don't. And well, this thing about back it up, John. that the thing about Iniesta. No, I don't think the stats do back it up because um, the, he, I don't think he does play forward penetrative passes. Not through the no, lines. He, the stats he doesn't. Back it up. The stats no, I don't think so. No, he's they, in the top no, seven he, and he, seventh in the whole Premier League. No, he he, he doesn't play for. People can watch it and make their own decision when you want. A lot of stats when you when you break them down, they're flawed because they don't take in many variables into account. So, um, did you know who the the, the top um, pass percentage player in the Premier League. Do you know who that was a few years ago? Like, Probably a say, back. It was, uh, who was that German Arsenal defender? The, the, Mertesacker. The, the, yeah, it was Mertesacker, right? So um, you would think that meant he's a really good player, whoever has the highest pass percentage. Stats don't really um, totally add up. Um, he, he is comparing him to Iniesta is just unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable to compare him to Iniesta. Comparing the role that they've um, his England debut. I mean, okay, England have been playing absolute gash teams, to be honest with you. So it doesn't that doesn't really say anything. I don't. He, I think he's had about two good performances for Spurs. I can. I can. I think he had a good Whatever. game against Man City this season. I think he played okay against uh, uh, Real Madrid that time. Apart from that, I cannot okay. think of a game where he actually uh, controlled the game. I can't I think would of say, I would say one that, one that stands out for me is the second half against Barcelona. I thought he was on a different planet that night. Uh, first half, he was shocking, albeit, yeah. but I think second half, he actually was the best player on the park. Taught Messi a lesson or two that night. <laughs> but um, 135 appearances he's made for Spurs Sim. Mm. Of that many appearances, shouldn't he be performing at a more consistent level? Maybe you could probably argue that, but he's had, he has been dogged by a, a niggling ankle injury, which probably set him back a bit. But I think he's still getting used to that but, but again. But I think he's shown more than enough to to, to say he, that he's going to go over that uh, injury and, and and the pain that causes him to be a real top level player for Spurs. I think if whenever he's fit, he's usually in the England squad. Whenever he's fit and playing regularly, um, as recent times, and and you you say stats lie, John, but past completion rate not is lie. what I'm talking not about. Lie. I didn't They're say all misleading. This is yeah. penetrative forward passes between defenders. This is what the stat I'm talking about. The player who's actually top um, of the league is uh, Kovacic, and second is Ndombele for for for, the, for this in in terms of penetrative passes per game. The player who was seventh is Harry Winks. Harry Winks plays more forward passes than you'd like to think. No. He does. The stats no. back it up. No, he plays no, forward no. passes, whether you like it or not. The stats. Look, there's a diff- yeah, but there's a difference point. between like he there's a difference the between forward, yeah, but in it also, between defenders in no, between. No, I don't. I don't think you can. No, I don't think, you, don't, don't think there's a metric for that. No, I don't think there's there a metric is. for that. There is a metric you, no. for that. It's called no, penetrative I don't think, passes. I think people, people Media in the comments section, uh, your your um, 
you're uh, selling the, the audience short when you say that because everyone can see with their own eyes what's going on with Harry Winks. You People say, I'm know, saying, I'm, I'm just reading it. This is the stats. This is, this is, these are not disputable. You know, there's, a, there's such thing as a forward pass and there's a forward pass that breaks the lines. And yes, that's what he can't yes, do. yes, no. there is, John. And I'm talking about forward passes <laughs> that break the lines. No, no, no. no that's no. exactly what not, I'm talking not, about. Don't, please don't belittle the audience. We can see with our own eyes. We know what Harry Winks does on the ball, and we know he doesn't go forward. I'm telling you. Let's look at the comment yourself. section. Let's look, let the audience the decide. <laughs> Why is he called SpongeBob Seven. Side Pass? Why is he called, called call SpongeBob that. Square Pass? Why name. is he called SpongeBob Square Pass? <laughs> <That's your> name. <laughs> that name just didn't about? come out of nowhere, Simmy. You know, there was it a reason. It came out of your mind because you think you can't have the ability to read the. Game. <laughs> All right, it's clear. It's clear that okay. John has you. So I'm the only one who thinks that. <laughs> I'm the only one who thinks he passes sideways. Is that what you're saying? And other people who clearly can't other... see. <laughs> okay. All the other thousands of Spurs fans who think the same. Right. Correct. Okay. They're all no, wrong. Correct. I tell you, the stats no, both back of on you, my Both point. of you, calm down for a second. <laughs> <laughs> both of you are a bit rattled here. So uh, let's let the audience decide. Is look, is Harry Winks good enough, or should we sell him? Is he? Do you want him sold, John? Um. I don't even, do you know what? I don't even think he could wink um, forwards, you know? I think. <laughs> do you want him sold? No, I, I think, no, I think he's a squad player. I think he should be uh, sort of on the, on the periphery. I think like Lamella is. That would be okay for me. Bring him on for the smaller games, you know? And I think uh, he probably is all right for the international type uh, games or Spain, Italy, where there's a lot of more possession-based football. In premiership games, I don't, and especially when he's under the cosh, I don't think he's uh, quite good enough. All right, so there you have it. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree with John about Harry Winks or do you agree with Simeon? Let me know in the comment section below. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come on, you Spurs. Come on, Spurs. <laughs>